March is National Nutrition Month and registered dietitian Lee Murphy wanted to share some tips for making healthier choices for your family. Now she taped this a couple of weeks ago with Emily DeVoe before the social distance guidelines and safer at home order was issued. Eating healthy is something a lot of us try to do and sometimes fall short, but it just so happens March is National Nutrition Month and Lee Murphy here is a registered dietitian, works at the University of Tennessee and you're here to help us out. That's right. <laughs> March is National Nutrition Month and the theme this year is eat right, bite by bite. Okay. And sit by sit. So what does that so, mean? So the first for bite by bite, we want to talk about how serving sizes have changed over the years, right? So mm -hmm. a long time ago, a muffin, for instance, was 100 calories, and now a muffin is 500 calories, Ooh. right? So and same with bagels and spaghetti serving size in restaurants. It's just mm -hmm. out of hand in terms of we could easily feed a family sometimes with the serving you get on your plate. So it's important to think about plate size, but also what you're consuming and every bite that matters, especially when we have extra time to sit around and think about what we're eating. We want to make those bites count. Absolutely. And there's going to be people sitting at home a lot That's over the right. next so few days. So we want to make very good choices in our food choices. So mm -hmm. the next is sit by sip. Okay. So it's also very important to think about the things we drink. A lot of my clients and students and otherwise, we don't think about calories we drink. And that actually for children, the Academy of Pediatrics, American Academy of Pediatrics recommends just water and milk through, and breast milk and formula, of course, but for babies, but for children, through age five and because they're nutrient dense mm -hmm. and they carry uh, a lot of good benefits and so milk uh, for instance has of course calcium and um, protein and vitamin D and lots of other great benefits this example this kale is showing that it takes this is not 17 cups but it takes <laughs> 17 cups of kale mm -hmm. the calcium to equivalent to be the, the amount that's in three cups of, of milk. So this so, is less than 17 yes, cups. Yes, a lot Oh, so you need, a lot, yes, you need a lot more than that. that. Yes. Oh, wow. So, and not the kale has other super nutritious benefits. However, for the calcium component, we need a lot more to yeah. get than now we need. So milk is a great way to get all that in there, as well as, of course, water and hydration. And it's easy to get super high, big serving sizes. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that we get all our nutrient density in there. Okay. And then the last tip for Eat Right bite by bite is to include protein in our meals, in our snacks, because that helps us stay fuller longer. And so whether if you have a cheese stick with an apple or um, it, this is a little Greek yogurt um, parfait that you could make that has, Greek yogurt has more protein typically. If you like the thickness of that, if you like the regular yogurt, that's okay too. But um, it also has probiotics in it, which is great for our immunity and our immune system and keeping us healthy. Very important yes, right now. This time of year for sure. And um, that's super important. Of course, the nutrient density of the berries and granola or whatever else you put with it is super important too. So the dairyalliance.com has some good dairy recipes if you're interested, but protein, thinking about the sips that we have as well as the bites that we have and making it all count with nutrient density is super important. All right, lots of great advice. Thank you, we'll send it to break. We'll see you after this.